What's up everyone, this is Spooky, and I was invited by my friends at Capcom to bring you an early look at Akuma, who releases May 22nd for Street Fighter 6. I'm sure you are all excited for his release close to Combo Breaker, so I have jam-packed lots of information into this short video for you, including his move list, some story information, and examples of match play. He has a very complete move list with tools to handle a multitude of situations and excellent damage as well making him a very strong potential pick for you when he releases soon. Akuma's trailer released during EVO Japan, giving us a look at his story during World Tour mode. He also has a full arcade mode and some associated story along with it. He's a formidable warrior, devoid of emotion, driven by a relentless pursuit of mastering the Satsui no Hado, a mystical fighting art. He's also the younger brother of Goken, who was Ryu and Ken's master. Street Fighter Alpha had one of my favorite storylines in the entire series, with Akuma tempting Ryu to follow in his footsteps of the dark Satsui no Hado art, just so he could have the perfect opponent to battle. I'm extremely interested in how he will shake things up in the modern Street Fighter 6 story, and I wonder if somehow his story will tie into Ken, who currently has a very tough life as a martial artist due to things outside of his control. It speaks of the ferocity. If there's one thing that's for certain, everyone is about to get shaken up by Akuma's appearance in the storyline. There are also some aesthetics about Akuma that I'd like to show you alongside showing you his moves and some combos. During the intro to a versus match, you have the opportunity to make various expressions with Akuma just by holding a directional input. Akuma definitely stands out with a repertoire of fierce and visceral faces, each reflecting the depth of his intimidating presence on the battlefield. Akuma's general game plan is well complemented by the new Street Fighter 6 mechanics, especially Drive Impact, although his Drive Rush does not cover as much ground as some other characters like Jury or DJ. He has perhaps the best combo utility bar none of any character, with a multitude of ways to start a juggle, both meterless and with meter. Back Heavy Kick returns as a launching attack, and he gained a new Korosoka Back Punch series, which can launch both on the HP and EX versions. His Heavy Kick Tatsu gained a new angle that has the potential for long range anti airs, and the EX1 does something similar but can also start combos. Standing Heavy Kick and Crouching Heavy Punch are both attacks that can force a standing opponent to crouch, and either attack can be used in many ways to keep the combos consistent. I recommend starting out with Drive Rush into Standing MP, Crouching HP as an early filler, as it is easy to use and very damaging. It leads to most of the routes that you'll want to use as well, helping keep things consistent for you. His level 2 super, Imperian's End, is extremely damaging and allows for follow-ups and combos. This might be your go-to super for cashing out damage, as it is efficient for 2 meters in comparison to his level 3 or his critical art. Akuma's move list is packed with useful tools. His basic fireball can be charged in a similar style to Sakura's from Street Fighter V. His air fireball has been limited to forward jumps only, but still covers a powerful angle for approaching the opponent. His Shoryuken has a great hitbox, and the EX1 does high damage and is amazing for closing out rounds. His Demon Flip or Demon Raid has overhead, low, dive kick, and fake out options. The EX version allows you to also do an air fireball or an air tattoo follow up. Supers wise, he also has an air fireball super, which notably can be done during neutral jump and not just during forward jump. He also has two critical arts he can access at low health, including the Demon Rage, the classic. His command normal list is expansive as well, with his forward MP overhead, back HK launcher, dive kick, and some useful target combos all available. They also made sure to give you access to almost every move in modern mode, so you can utilize those easy inputs if you like for better uppercuts and confirms. He also has a classic styled outfit as well, and I personally enjoy the look much more than his new outfit, so I'll be rocking this one. 
In the second half of this video, I'll be showing you some match play and talking about my thoughts about his strategy and overall moveset. Demon Raid is excellent as an aerial approach tool, especially against projectiles. It appears to be quite a bit better than Kami's, which is underutilized at high level play, especially his EX version. His crouching MP has extremely good frame data, linking back into itself on normal hit and counter hit. To balance that, his crouching MK is a bit short on range, so consider carefully whether you want the low or the better frame data based on positioning and if you think the opponent will try to stand up during your mix-up. Akuma has an overall strong neutral game that includes a throw loop, so I recommend experimenting with your throws heavily when first starting out, especially against opponents who like to turtle up. Because Akuma can only air fireball during forward jump without EX meter, you should consider your jump angles carefully. Prepare for unexpected moments where your fireball won't reach the opponent by utilizing your cross up jump MK instead. Teleport gained an easier input, however it does not have a large window of invincibility. Instead, it seems that they want you to use this move as an interesting whip bait and whip punisher, especially with the built-in throw follow-up. This move has the potential to be really good or really awful, so I'm very curious about your thoughts when you get to try him out and use this move yourself. There's also a major balance patch coming along with Akuma, so I will use this time to tell you about some of the upcoming changes. Zangi is going to get special cancel after his second stomp in the three stomp series, which sounds really useful. I'm not sure what the best possible combo is, but I'm sure that you Geek Wizards will figure it out. I love this change. I think it's a really good change, and I think you guys will like it too. Uh, Manon got back HP into the EX step kick follow-up without counter hit. So she has the potential for some very high damage back heavy punch combos now with only one EX meter. Jamie's crouching MP is now plus five on hit uh, uh, from plus three. So pretty useful and something that you can definitely use for lots of tricks. Let me know Jamie players how that change works out for you. This is another big one. Kimberly now after grounded EX Tatsu can do level two super. Only the level two, mind you, not the level three in the critical art, but still a very useful way to add some good damage to her level two combos. Honda got, during his MP into down forward HK tight combo, Honda can now go into sumo spirit to get the charge. I actually have no idea if that's good or not, but it's there, it's a thing, so try it out and let me know if it's good for you fellas, especially you Honda lovers. Luke, for, for, for some godforsaken reason, they gave this character some buffs. Uh, Stand HP now can combo into the Light Punch Flash Knuckle, and they also buff the damage on DDT, that little DDT follow that people rarely use. They buff the damage on it a little bit, so I guess they're encouraging you to use this one. In this last clip, I experiment some with Akuma's new teleport. As I mentioned, the invincibility is not good enough for escaping pressure situations most of the time. But it is a very interesting move as an unexpected assault combined with the built-in throw follow-up. I really want to see how you will all use this move at the high level and if it can blow through otherwise guaranteed long-range pressure from a character like JP. Overall, I'm extremely happy that Akuma is finally here in Street Fighter 6. A lot of people wanted this to be a character that just was in the game from the beginning, and he's someone that's extremely iconic to the Street Fighter series. In fact, I value this character more even than Ryu, Ken, Chun, or some of the other characters that are well known as the backbone of the Street Fighter story. Now that I've shown you some of Akuma's move list and tactics, I hope the combos and tricks in this recent trailer will make much more sense to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment or subscribe to help others find it as well. And thank you so much for checking out my thoughts on Akuma and Street Fighter 6. Thanks for playing and see you in the streets.